Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, not Simon Dan. I got it right this time. And welcome to Flat Earth News. So over the last month, not a lot happened in the realm of Flat Earth specifically. But when you look at conspiracy theories on the other hand, like, I don't know, all the conspiracy theories about 5G and coronavirus, well, the internet's just been flooded with them. So what are some of the main ones? Because there are a lot of them out there. Well, one of the main ones is that 5G is somehow causing coronavirus. I don't know if people know this, but coronavirus is a virus. So here's a little lesson for anyone that may not know this. Viruses are little things made of molecules and proteins, right? 5G, on the other hand, is a radio wave. And last I checked, radio waves can't turn into atoms or molecules even. Now some people might say, well, it's not a virus that's causing it. It's obviously the 5G. To which I say, you do realise that there are places that don't have 5G, like France. And how many cases are there in France again? Oh, it's 92,000. So yeah, this is a virus. If it wasn't, then we wouldn't see all these cases in France. Now some other people might say, oh, 5G is just weakening the immune system. In which case, I'll point to France again. So France has over five times the amount of deaths that Germany has. And Germany has 5G. Now even though Germany has more total cases than France, if 5G was somehow weakening the immune system, then would expect to see way more deaths in a country like Germany, which does have 5G, compared to a country like France, which doesn't have 5G. So yeah, there's no link between 5G and coronavirus. Because even though someone might look at it and go, Oh look, USA and Italy, they have so many cases and they also have a lot of deaths. So therefore, 5G causes coronavirus. Could also look at a place like France, which also has a lot of cases and is actually ranked fourth in the amount of deaths that it has. And that doesn't have 5G. And then there are other people that say that coronavirus is just completely made up. Because to these people, denialism feels better than facing reality. Now according to some of these people, the coronavirus is an elaborate hoax in order to get governments to lock down to keep people inside so that 5G towers can be installed. Wouldn't 5G towers be installed regardless of whether people were allowed out of their homes? It's not like people being allowed out of their homes would stop any 5G towers from being installed. It wouldn't even delay 5G towers from being installed. Now the problem with people saying that the coronavirus is a hoax is that there are people that do listen to this kind of rhetoric. There are people that may be influenced to not stay at home. There are people that may be influenced to not follow social distancing practices. And these measures are needed to help reduce the infectiousness of the disease. Social distancing and staying at home are things that everybody needs to partake in. I haven't left my house in about 11 days, and yeah, it sucks because there are things that I'd like to get, but it's a measure that I'm willing to take in order to reduce the infectiousness of COVID-19. And I do like the term that's being given to people that downplay the seriousness of coronavirus, or just straight up call it a hoax. Covidiots has a nice ring to it. Next news. So Ranty is someone that a lot of people know of. He's a flat earther, but he gives heaps of evidence that the earth is a globe, like ships going over the horizon, that kind of stuff. And recently he has criticised Sleeping Warrior in a hilarious way. So Ranty left a comment on a post that Sleeping Warrior made saying, If Sleeping Warrior does not win Dumb Fuck of the Year this year, next year, and every year after that, then the Globers will have some serious explaining to do. I always tried to cover his ass whenever he screwed up, but he is quite literally getting dumber by the day. He can't be a real person doing this. Someone must be paying him to act like this. Nobody is this dumb. Nobody. Now this should be a wake up call to Sleeping Warrior, because if you're a flat earther, and another flat earther that is supposed to be on your side calls you dumb, then you dumb. Now onto some other news, Team Skeptic got his YouTube channel hacked. 
But fortunately, he does have it back now. Now, this is a bit of an odd one, because according to Team Skeptic, he had two-factor authentication on his account. But whoever was hacking him managed to get in. Stranger yet, whoever it was didn't try and do anything that would have gotten Team Skeptic's channel terminated. They didn't spam videos or anything. And they also tried to get the Science or Satire channel, but the two-factor authentication kicked in for that, so Team Skeptic was able to stop them there. Now, another YouTuber that was hacked is a YouTuber called Cirrus. You may or may not have heard of him. Unfortunately, he hasn't managed to get his channel back, though. And it's very similar to Team Skeptic in the fact that his channel still exists. His videos are still up, but he just doesn't have access to it. And whoever it was that hacked Cirrus also took his Discord account as well. But hopefully this does get sorted because it is very disappointing to see content creators getting their accounts stolen. But the last story today is Nathan Thompson has basically become Kent Hovind. He's now hitting a sponge bowl over the head with a hammer. And that's it. So anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you think of all the news. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. What Jesus? Holmes, Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Wolfie, Stringy News One, Ash Panash, Curtis Reynolds, Curvin Yorker, Sisyphus, and Mori. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. Link will be in the description. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, stay safe.